face down, butt up, sleeping on the floor. He's an angry gnome. Okay, um, please don't electrocute us. Please, 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 please. Hello from the void, it's Rose. Welcome back to my channel and to the apocalypse. Today, Eden, newly an adult, is hopefully going to be buying some more stuff if I can stop horribly financially mismanaging her. Let's get straight to it. We're rejoining Eden just as she levels up to level 4 of the gardening skill which means she can finally have conversations with plants and not be so depressed and lonely all the time, although she still needs to pee constantly. And we only have the bush. Now that she is a grown up she is allowed to use her evenings to travel around the place and try and find new seeds and collectibles that she can sell to get the things she wants in life. My target for this episode is to try and get her some chickens possibly, um, but we will see if that is realistic. And at the moment it's looking like no because she is so uncomfortable that we literally cannot salvage anything, we can't gather anything, we can't fish, all we can do is stare depressedly into the distance and think about how salvia- oh oh inspired okay quick go fish go fish either apple and go fish please catch something useful otherwise this is a wasted foraging trip I am gonna let her travel outside of this neighborhood but for now there's still so much to explore of the like specially made thing I'm really sorry babe you can't hate fishing because you're gonna need it to survive who is that creeping about ebony gleam oh this is a sim that morgan sent me to be like a background character and she's just creeping around doing her vampire walk whilst eden jumps in the bin in search of some meals because she's pretty hungry and i do want her to try and make the most of this trip out oh we found a spoiled shrimp cocktail that is literally the recipe for the worst worst kind of disaster like i would not be eating that but i will make eden eat it for the very simple reason that she found it and she's not real so she's not actually gonna get salmonella and die but in case you didn't already know this never eat shrimp cocktail out of a dumpster for the love of all the glowing eyed men in the world do not eat a bin cocktail thank you and good night and because this is a game instead of violently throwing her guts up eden is now feeling flirty what um, and is therefore in good enough shape that she can do a little bit of fishing and maybe catch something before we head home. If she catches a fish I think we can finally make her make um, like some grilled fish or something to get some protein in her diet instead of living entirely on cereal. So we're gonna send her home because it's getting light. Oh no we're not because she is going to pass out. This is very high risk babe, you don't want anyone to know you're here and you are face down butt up sleeping on the floor in full sight of everyone but we have finally got her home and she is going to go straight to bed essentially becoming nocturnal is probably what's going to happen because most of these trips that she can make will be at night i'm basically going to jump straight through to the next evening because the next day is just trying to get some collectibles to sell and talking to our mushrooms to cheer ourselves up because it has been a while since we've been able to sell things over at the squatter ruins and we are actually out of money we've had seven dollars for like three sim days so we haven't been able to do any woodwork or anything all we've been able to eat is fruit salad made out of lemons and apples because those are the only fruits we have and so it is finally time for Eden to make herself a little bit of money and you know be able to purchase some new things so we're getting rid of some shiner light that is our most valuable item that's what we're sacrificing to the tax gods I'm not letting her sell any harvestables at squatter ruins now we're going to do those on Saturday at the Finchwick fair and them's the new rules we are going to just try and steal this lamp whilst we are here there wasn't really anything else I could steal. Klepto's turning out not to be such a great trait because I hadn't realised how few things they're actually able to steal. I was thinking she'd be able to steal like a bookshelf or something, but I guess it kind of makes sense that she can't. But I might um, buy a lifetime reward and change her trait. And now we have some money, we can finally make ourselves some more garden boxes and then we can do some more planting. One of the side goals of this generation is to try and do as many of the canning recipes as possible so we are just having Eden do her first ever canning recipe which I believe is some faux meat substitute made of mushrooms. Once we have got some more crops in the ground we'll be able to make some more things but for now pretty much the only thing we have is mushrooms and I'm a little bit concerned because we are heading towards winter. I'm hoping that on Harvest Fest which is today we will get some new seeds from the gnomes which will enable us to with the planters we can build actually get our gardening on track start to um, make some progress with our um, aspiration of freelance botanist and also you know just generally make some money and have a better source of food because at the moment it's mostly cooler items and yeah that's not ideal this gnome looks like it's had way too much caffeine so let's give it some more hallelujah it's happy okay we've pleased all the gnomes i think oh no there's more i think some of the gnomes we had on the lot already were like harvest fest gnomes that i didn't place them they were on the lot when i downloaded it but 
feels a bit cheaty to have like more than three gnomes but I am not going to complain because Eden does need a break and I've made my life hard in so many different ways and at the moment we only have one single planter box so we're going to have to go make some more otherwise there will be nowhere to put all of the new autumn and winter seeds we've got and being Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday yeah we should have time if we place these to get some more crops like ready before we go to Finchwick on Saturday to sell our produce. So what we'll do is we'll set up a little store inside of all of the seeds we can't plant till spring summer and we're going to try and get our autumn winter seeds in the ground because we should be able to harvest them for the first time on Saturday morning before we go to the fair I think. We're not going to enter any of the contests or anything but we are just going to sell all of our produce at the uh, grocery stall because you get a better price for them on Saturdays and I feel like Eden is She's savvy, she's paranoid but she's savvy and we'll have a little chat about Finchwick down the road if we get that far in this episode but for now all we're doing is making boxes, putting things in the ground and hoping for the best and also chatting up our sage like Hey buddy, how are you doing today? I don't have any friends, only a circle of gnomes that are worshipping me except for this one which we haven't fed. Oh and we made him angry, he's an angry gnome. Okay, um, please don't electrocute us, please, 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 it's snowy, it's nice, I'm a nice friendly, okay. Whew. If she got electrocuted to death right now I would be cross because we're finally, finally starting to make some good progress. And we have a little little circle of happy glowing little gnomes to watch us watch us sleep. That's not scary at all. Can't wait to sell them next week and get some money for them. The next day, the only thing that really happened of interest aside from the grind of sewing and stuff was Eden reached gardening level five, which means she can finally take um, splices and graft things onto other things. So there are cherry trees in the area, so we got her to take a sample of that and graft it onto the apple tree, which should now mean that this little plant we have can now have pomegranates growing on it. So one of the side goals of this generation is we're meant to try and grow a death flower. So I need to get orchids and pomegranates and then I graft one of them onto the other and then I can get a death flower. But to get an orchid, I need to get a lily sample and put that onto, I think, a uh, snapdragon. I've got snapdragons, but I don't have lilies. Um, so I need to try and track that down, which I remember being difficult when I did this the last time. But in the meantime, we're just chilling at home, making some mushroom conserve. We've also managed to build ourselves this new end table and this wall shelf at our handiness bench. I think we're about level six now. And for her nighttime jaunt tonight, I am going to send Eden to Henford on Bagley to like scout out the ground for the next day because she knows she's got to go sell her stuff but I feel like she's like okay what's it going to be like I'm going to pretend to just be a jogger and she's like how have they not been affected at all by what happened obviously like Oasis Springs we know is decimated everywhere else we've been has been like completely destroyed like she's definitely wondering what the hell has happened in Henford that means it still looks like before like the clouds maybe are a funny colour but how have they not been affected by what happened to the rest of the world and how is it that they still have like clean water and a flowing river and stuff and she definitely is not going to trust them after that but um, she did catch some fish so look Eden's going to eat protein for the first time in this entire save she is not going to eat just fruit or granola it's a fish on a stick live your best life girlie you are you are doing so well and tomorrow we will go to the fair and we will sell our goods and hopefully make ourselves a decent amount of money and buy you some little chickens. Ahead of the fair, she's definitely working off some nervous energy, doing some push-ups and killing time till it starts at 3.30. I hadn't realised it started so late in the day, but it does. And then we will be heading on over to Henford as soon as we get that little pop-up in two, one, and go. Right, let us go. We have made Eden a wee disguise, actually using one of the items from Batu, which I don't think has ever happened to me before, but I figured she would definitely not want to like go and be easily recognisable, so she's definitely not made herself look more suspicious by putting on a big old hood. And we have sold our goods for 2,060 simoleons, which is pretty good going for our first harvest, given we've only had most of these things for a few days and that does give us some money to um, purchase some things we haven't found, some things that weren't in the seed packets because I feel like that would be useful and we're just going to run over and see if this crumple bottom has anything else. So we have spent about half of the money we made, about 1300 simoleons which is a lot but um, it will give us hopefully I think enough to buy the chicken coop and a lot of other harvestables that we can get going. And I am just quickly having Eden run out and check for anything under Sophie because although this is like mostly used for like little cutesy neighbourly gifting, 
Eden definitely wants to know what's going on in Henford, and maybe someone's left her a note under Sophie. Or maybe they haven't. We'll find out in the next episode when we buy some chickens. That went pretty well. We are gallivanting for our freelance botanist aspiration. We have some money in the bank. I'm hoping the editing style where I'm cutting like big chunks of repeating out isn't too annoying, but honestly, it's just a lot of her running around picking things up, which is not particularly fun to watch or to cut together. So we're gonna keep going how we are for now. Um, the next thing I kind of want to do is to introduce some people that Eden might potentially allow to parent her child with her because we do need to have obviously a kid to continue the legacy challenge. So people I'm considering, Erwin, from Strangerville, as per Morgan's suggestion. Also the Creature Keeper and maybe the Granite Falls Hermit. Obviously they will need a makeover. Let me know what you think in the comments and if you've enjoyed this video, do leave me a little thumbs up. Think about subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Good job. What was that?